the select node is one of the most useful nodes in your wiring optimization workflow. So making sure that your blueprints stay nice and tidy. So a lot of times you'll see that whenever people are altering a boolean, they'll check to see if it's true, they'll use a branch, and if it is, then they set it to false. Or if it's false, then they set it to true, and then they continue on with their line. Or you'll see in functions, for instance, if it's an attack, they'll figure out what combat type, what kind of weapon they're holding, and then they'll do a bunch of different things based on what. Like if it's one hand, they'll play a montage, or two hand, they'll play a different montage, and then carry on with their hit line. But with the select node, you can actually affect a boolean just by giving it a select node, plugging its value, and then setting it based on that. And then you can go from this one to that one. So not much of a cleanup on that one, but it does make it a little bit tidier. But for the attack function, you can go from this to just putting a select on what the animation you want to be and then feeding in your enumerator of whatever your index currently is and then let it play based on that. And then goes from that to that. So it's really handy in order to keep your blueprint graphs nice, tidy, easier to read. And these are just some of the reasons why 